and besties. I finally started watching Turning Red. Well, I'm actually watching it like right now. And I can't resist the urge to craft while watching and make an inspired look. Let's dress up this Be Mard 1959 doll to make an inspired look based on Maylin Lee. Keyword, inspired. She has dark, short hair, but she does have purple lipstick. And I don't like changing my dolls, but I just can't with that purple lipstick. It's gotta go. Let's remove all of her accessories take down her hair. I gave her a little hot water rinse. Let's add a little watered down pink acrylic paint to her lips and allow it to dry. While waiting, let's pick out something for her to wear. I know she has on a jean skirt. Hmm. But I'm not opposed to taking some artistic liberties and maybe giving her shorts. Paired with some leggings, a slim kin collared shirt. This one had a green bow tie that I removed. Let's place this kin red Malibu sweatshirt on top. Add a Barbie extra hair clip to her hair. Sneakers and a pair of glasses. These are from the Rosa Parks doll. To complete our Maylin inspired look using Barbie clothes and accessories we already have. Of course, we took some artistic liberties. For one, she's a lot older. Maybe this is Mei Lin in high school or college. She's a Tamagotchi. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's cut a little piece of green off of this rainbow high box. Kind of a little bear ear shape. Use a tiny hole punch to make two little buttons. On a piece of paper, I sketch out kind of a soft rounded egg shape, fill it with hot glue, place the cut pieces of paper on it while it's still wet, and gently push it in. I had to work very quickly to get this before it dried. Now I suggest having multiple copies just in case. Once dried, peel it from the paper, paint it, this is some tiny painting and very unforgiving. I used my dotting tool to add a few dots of yellow. I bent a small piece of wire so it has two loops on the ends. Glue one end on the back, add a jump ring, then attach it to her bag. I also added a few beauty marks. It's not a custom doll, it's inspired. We need a background. I have this corkboard foam board. I cut a piece that is 14 and a half by 13 inches because that is what fits on my shelves. I glue another piece to the bottom, carve out little lines. Of course, you can just cut sheets of cork and glue it onto the board like bricks but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. I glue one and a half inch strips of foam board to the back so it can stand. Paint a rainbow in pastel colors. I'm doing yellow, pink, green, lavender, a brighter yellow, and blue. So it's not really a rainbow, but we got the right colors. Paint on a few more details, glue on some greenery, place a palette in front to make a background inspired by the wall near the convenience store. All right, I like where this is headed. I have some shiny packaging left over from the Mermaids Mermaids video. Let's trace a circle, cut it out, put a hole in the center, cut a few rectangles of black cardstock, and a few tiny strips. Stack and glue the cardstock together, gluing the strips to one side. Glue the circle in the center, write on it with a permanent marker to say Fort Town 99 Australian Tour. Cut leftover plastic from packaging to go on top. I used a small piece of double-sided tape to attach it, then use a little bit of paint to look like tiny stickers. To make a CD, take cardstock. I have brown, a light turquoise, and white. 
cut rectangles. Mine are one and a quarter by one and three quarter inches. I have one blue, one brown, and six white rectangles. I use a ruler to make holes going down one side. Make sure all your holes are in the same spot so we can put jump rings through them. To make a spiral notebook, paint on stickers just as before. To make Mei Lin's infamous journal, take yarn and pipe cleaners. Take the end of one pipe cleaner and wrap it around the center of the other, making a Y shape. Begin tying yarn onto the pipe cleaner in alternating red and orange. I trimmed the end and secured it with glue. Comb out the yarn, trim it, bend in the ends of the pipe cleaner and twist them so it can fit around the doll's waist. Hide the pipe cleaner under the doll's shirt so she has a fluffy red panda tail. Take a paper clip, felt, and faux fur. Unfold the paper clip, bend it to make a headband for the doll. Fold the felt in half. Cut two rounded triangles on the fold. Then cut two regular triangles of faux fur the same size. Glue the paper clip headband between the layers of felt. Glue the fur on top to make some ears for our Disney bounding Mei Lin inspired look. We took quite a few artistic liberties with this one. For starters, she's totally not 13. But I'm loving all of those little details like the CD, the journal, the Tamagotchi, and of course, the Red Panda merch. Whenever I get to the end of a project, I overlook it and see where we need to make a few changes. I think we can add some more greenery, like right in here. It's covering up some of the words, but I think it looks a little more natural. Box of kittens! I'm gonna take one of our printable storage boxes, open it up, and fill it with kittens. While looking for the kittens, I found what I think is a better backpack. This Barbie backpack has tons of stickers or patches, and I think it goes good with the vibe. Okay, I like the changes. And I better stop crafting so I can finish this movie. Thank you for joining us while we made some Turning Red inspired crafts. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>